Mesothelioma is an aggressive type of cancer that develops in the mesothelium, which is a protective lining that covers most of the body's internal organs. The mesothelium lining the lungs, pleura, the heart, pericardium, the abdomen, peritoneum, and the testes, the tunica vaginalis, is where mesothelioma most commonly arises. Currently, the standard treatment options for mesothelioma include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. However, some patients may also wish to consider additional alternative or complementary therapies to help support their overall cancer treatment plan and quality of life. Here are some alternative treatment options people with mesothelioma may want to discuss with their doctor. Nutrition and Dietary Supplements Adopting an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant-rich whole foods diet can help manage symptoms and reduce side effects from standard treatments. Some specific supplements like turmeric, ginger, astaxanthin, resveratrol, and green tea extract may help reduce inflammation and cancer cell growth. Supplements should always be taken under a doctor's guidance, as certain ones can interact with medications. A nutritionist can help create an optimal diet and supplementation plan. Acupuncture This ancient Chinese practice uses thin needles inserted at specific points on the body to stimulate the flow of life force, qi or qi, to relieve pain and other symptoms. Several studies have found acupuncture can ease side effects of chemotherapy like nausea, fatigue, peripheral neuropathy, and difficulty sleeping. It may also help reduce inflammation and boost immunity. Licensed acupuncturists provide treatment. Herbal medicine, herbs like cannabis, mistletoe extract, Asian ginseng, curcumin, luteolin, and shiitake mushrooms have shown anti-cancer properties in test tube and animal research. Traditional Chinese herbal formulas may also relieve symptoms. However, clinical evidence for herbal medicine's effectiveness in treating mesothelioma itself is still very limited. Herbs can interact with medications as well, so guidance from a certified herbalist or doctor is important. Yoga and mind-body therapies, relaxation techniques like gentle yoga, tai chi, meditation, and massage can reduce stress, anxiety, and pain. Practices that involve controlled breathing may also boost lung function and oxygen intake if lung capacity is reduced. Psychological support through art or music therapy, counseling, and support groups can improve mood and quality of life too. Hyperthermia Cancer Treatment This experimental treatment involves using heat to raise the temperature of target tissues above normal body levels. Heat is known to make some chemotherapy drugs more effective and cause cancer cells to die more easily. Studies are ongoing to test hyperthermia for mesothelioma, as heat may help overcome drug resistance. A specialized oncology center would provide this treatment under medical supervision. Cryotherapy Liquid nitrogen is used to freeze and destroy cancer cells. The goal is to help shrink or slow tumor growth with minimal damage to healthy tissues. This experimental approach is still being studied for mesothelioma and may be available through select clinical trials. Other complementary modalities, additional alternative options some may find helpful include relaxation techniques like Qigong, granotherapy using medicinal hot spring waters, auricular therapy or ear acupuncture, rife frequency therapy using sound wave therapy, hyperbaric oxygen therapy and naturopathic medicine individualizing natural therapies. More research is still needed, but integrative care using both conventional and complementary options tolerated by patients may provide the best outcomes. It's essential any alternative therapies are discussed with medical doctors overseeing standard treatments to ensure proper guidance, screening for interactions, safety and effectiveness. While alternatives generally present fewer side effects than chemo and radiation, they may not be a replacement for primary mesothelioma cancer treatment, but rather provide supportive care alongside established therapies. Early palliative care involving symptom management from pain specialists, psychologists, nutritionists, physical and occupational therapists can also significantly improve quality of life. While the standard of care for mesothelioma remains surgery, chemotherapy and radiation, there are numerous adjunctive mind-body and integrative therapies that may help mitigate side effects, ease symptoms and enhance well-being.
However, clinical evidence is still emerging for many complementary options, so it is important to consult medical experts and ensure any alternative therapies are monitored for safety when combining with standard therapeutic approaches for this aggressive cancer. An integrative care model involving both conventional and select complementary options tailored to each individual patient based on their case appears most prudent at this time. More research in this area is still warranted.